Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm super pumped for today's video because we are doing something totally different and we're actually doing something that we haven't done in a very long time. I feel like recently I've just been like, you know what, let's just go out, let's have a good time, let's go fishing. But in this episode, we're gonna switch it up a bit. We're actually behind us, we got Walmart right there. We're gonna be going inside of Walmart, we're gonna be finding a fishing kit, we're gonna go to some ponds and we're gonna go catch some fish. We've done this multiple times before, but we just haven't done it recently. So. I'm like, man, we need to do it again. We, we gotta do a little challenge again. So it's bringing back the good old days, walking inside of Walmart, getting some kits, getting some little gear for challenges, you know? It's good, man. It's, it's fun, it's different. It's uh, It creates for some different content, so that's the good thing. So if you guys could leave some more ideas down below, I actually got this idea from somebody who was like, how about you do another fishing cake because you haven't done one for a while. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and walk inside of Walmart. So today, I think the ponds that we're gonna be fishing are gonna be totally different than what we're used to fishing. So I have a good set number of areas around me. Um, a lot of them I just haven't fished in a while. So today I think we're gonna be fishing some that we just haven't fished in a very long time. And uh, one of the ones I have in mind, we haven't fished in over a year, so that's perfect. And I think the last time I fished, it was actually a fishing kit video, so it's perfect. But let's go ahead and get inside of Walmart, see what they got. I'm hoping they have fish and tackle because recently they've been sold out of everything. So let's see what they got. Yo, another thing, we actually got these, look at these, these new Big Bass Energy hats. And these are very basic. We don't have the green ones yet, but let me know if you guys would cop one of those because recently I've been wanting to drop some new hats and I feel like we haven't really dropped any new hats in years. You know, I used to do a bunch of merch back in, back in the good old day, but I wanted to drop some Big Bass Energy hats. So if you guys would cop one, let me know in the comment section below because I need to know how many we should possibly order. That's a long story. There's a bunch going on with my clothing that I, I'm trying to get fixed out, fixed right now. I'm, I'm gonna be giving you guys some updates, but we are in the fishing section. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. I was gonna say, let's see what they have, but they have absolutely nothing. Son of a gun. Um, <laughs> they did it to us. They freaking did it to us. They have this kit, which I haven't done before. Matter of fact, that, <laughs> that might be what we're gonna do today. I don't know. Let's go ahead and look and see what else they got. Um, we got a saltwater kit. What if we did like a saltwater kit freshwater challenge? That would actually be pretty dope. If you guys want to see that video, let me know in the comment section down below. I don't think we're going to do that today. But if you guys want to see me get like a saltwater fishing kit and use it for bass, let me know. That's That would actually be a cool idea. But as you guys can tell, they are sold out of just about everything. We've seen people talking about that recently. Um, like every single tackle shop they go to is like sold out of everything. And I will tell you that they're sold out of a good bit. They're not sold out of everything, but you know, they got some Zoom products right here. And then this whole open wall, I mean, just wiped completely. All the kits and everything on the bottom, completely gone. Obviously, except for the floating worm kit, which I think will catch a ton of bass today. I'm actually going to go ahead and set this aside because I think that's what we're going to be doing. Have I done one of these before? I don't think I have. Uh, I think I wanted to do it, but I never did it. I'm going to set that right there. So if you guys are wondering how much this was, it's actually $4, like $4.50, I think. I mean, that's fairly cheap. So you got four different colors and it's pretty much a dollar a pop. Um, with that being said, we got some hooks in here, but I don't think they're the best. I would like to get some more hooks. So let's go ahead and see what they have. Um, oh my God, there's no way, bro. Look at this. This isn't the hooks, that's the weights. Bro, what? Yo, this is wild. You guys need to calm down now. You guys need to calm down. Everybody's out fishing. I love to see that though. That's like been my goal since the beginning of kicking their bass. Oh, they have a smaller. Those are one odds, man. Those are too small. Oh no. They have four aughts and one aughts. We're gonna get these. Uh, I wish I had three, three aughts, but four aughts I guess will work. These are just some straight chain hooks, not the EWGs, very basic. When I'm using like a, a finesse worm, I like using straight chain hooks. I'll use EWGs to give it more weight every once in a while. I actually caught a nine pounder with a floating worm on a EWG, so I don't even know what I'm saying, but anything will work. There's no rules in fishing guys, but usually when I'm using like a finesse worm or floating worm, you know, I'm using straight shank hook. 
But uh, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna get. Alrighty, I think we're good from there. That's all we're getting, guys. We're keeping it very basic today. We're gonna be fishing it weightless. We're not gonna be fishing it with a weight. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check out, get outside of Walmart, and then I'll start heading to the pond. I'll catch back up with you guys. I think that has to be one of the cheapest Walmart purchases of all time. I'll show you my receipt in a second, but what I was going back to on my merch, this is something I've been wanting to say. The fulfillment service that I use, I don't pack and ship my orders. Um, I have a fulfillment service doing that for me. Um, print, packing, shipping, everything. Recently, um, they sent out a notification saying orders are gonna be taking up to six weeks to get to your door um so i wanted to spill that out to you guys i'm going to be updating my website with that just with the pandemic and everything um it's had everything slowed down so i hate to say that man i hate that whole deal but that's the thing man so if you guys are going to order merch on my website be be patient that's the thing be patient um it's going to take a little bit for the ship but with these are going to be a whole different story i'm not going to run these through my fulfillment service i'm going to run these through um something else and i'm going to be packaging these myself so yeah, so we're gonna be figuring out that whole deal with the Big Bass Energy hats. Also some kicking their bass hats. You guys know, already, yeah, yeah. But let me know if you guys wanna cop some. We'll go ahead and get some in stock for you. So this was the total order. Eight dollars. Nice, nice. It was eight dollars and 99 cents. The pack of hooks were actually almost four dollars. They were the same price as the fishing kit, which is crazy, but that was probably one of the cheapest Walmart purchases I've done yet. All right, boys and girls, it is time to get to the pond that we're gonna be fishing. We're gonna be fishing multiple ponds today. Stop it. My phone always does that. Um, it's always barking at me. So we're gonna hit a few different places. We're gonna go to this one. There's a bunch of places around it, so I think that's gonna be perfect. Um, but like I said, I haven't been here in like over a year. I think it's probably been like a year and a half. It's been a long time, to say the least. So I guess we're gonna see. There's some good fish in there. There's some good fish and there's some small fish. There's a good mixture, okay? I actually caught a really good one the last challenge I did there, so I'm excited about that. Fishing has been rough. I will say that recently the fishing has been a little tough, but um, we're gonna figure it out. And we're throwing a soft plastic bait, more importantly, weightless, and more importantly, a floating worm. It could be some sauce, boys. So let's go ahead, boys and girls, my bad. I keep saying that, guys. That's another freaking topic I wanna to talk to you guys about. I'm sorry, man, like, I know there's a bunch of women that, that watch the channel as well, and I always say boys, I don't know why. I'm just like, boys, like boys, like boys. There's nothing wrong, like, I, I, I'm not meaning anything bad about that, it's just, let, let's get it started, boys and girls. Boys and girls, you guys critique me next time I say boys, okay? Boys and girls, let's get it started. So this is actually the first time I'm using the Mock Smash Spinning Combo. Long story short, if you guys are wondering why there's some nasty stuff on the shaky head, this is, <laughs> I actually had Quavo fishing with this rod. I, I like Quavo, Quavo brought his own fishing rod, but I let him use the old Smash and he had a live worm on a shaky head. Don't ask why, just, just, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, so. The old Quavo special right here. Sadly, I'm not gonna be using the old Quavo special shaky head with nightcrawler action going on here. We're not doing that today, no. We're gonna put this straight shank hook on here if my pliers could actually cut. That is very annoying. Ooh, I did not like that noise either. All right, now we're gonna get an old straight shank hook. Four aught, because that's all they had. Wish I had three aught, but it's okay. You guys have not seen me fish with a spinning combo, and I could not tell you how long. It's not that I don't like spinning combos, it's just like I've got, oh, and I'm so comfortable with the bait caster, I just haven't picked up the spinning combo in a long time. We're just gonna tie this on, basic uni knot. Boom. All right, we are all rigged up with the hook. So now it is time to break open this floating worm kit, 47 pieces for $4. Heck yeah cheapest fishing kit at walmart by far look at these like brown worms okay so usually when you throw a floating worm if you guys don't know what a floating worm is this i don't know if this is a legit floating worm though like i throw like a zoom finesse worm aka a floating worm but it's not really floating i wonder if these like actually float like if that's just like if it's true or not so i'm gonna take two pink i'm gonna take one chartreuse i'm gonna take one brown i'm gonna take one orange for right now at the place that i'm at that's what we're gonna be rocking with because at the end of the day, I would like to catch one on each and every single one of these colors. So I'm gonna put these in my pocket. Those are just be backups. We're actually gonna start off with a pink one because why not? Just the bubble gum, bubble gum, weightless worm, yeah. Bubble gum, weightless worm, some fire boys. I actually caught a nine pounder on the river. 
on a on a floating worm is like eight, almost almost nine pounds. That I catch them. That hook's actually perfect. I thought it was gonna be too big. It's actually pretty good. All right, boys. This is the pretty little pond that we're at today. Super shallow, as you guys can tell right there. Let's first of all let's check our drag. Okay, very loose. Loosen up a little more. I want to have some fun. Okay, I think we're good. So we got that bubble gum floating worm, aka just a little weightless worm. We're gonna give it a shot. Oh yeah. Oh, it actually does float. It floats a lot better than a zoom trick worm. I will say that. See, these are actually advertised as floating worms. Like a zoom trick worm, finesse worm, isn't really advertised as a floating worm. There's a bunch of different. Oh my god. We just had like two or three hit it right there. We just had like two or three fishes followed it in. One of them looked like he was about two pounds. They wouldn't eat it though. That was weird. <gasps> Ooh, look at that boil. Look at that boil. Look at that boil. Oh my God. Guys, this is crazy. Hold up. We just got started. Come on, let's catch this fish right away. What if we just let it sink? Yeah, yeah. What? Yo, that was wild. That was so wild. We've had three bites and three casts. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think they're small. They're smaller than I think. One of them was a decent one. That one that boiled on me is like two pounds. There's a lot of fish right here. It's four casts, four bites. Something smells so bad out here too. It smells like dookie. These bass were freaking going crazy over it, but they would not commit to it for some reason. But this worm, here, let me throw it up here in the shallow water so you guys can see. Like they advertise this as a legit floating worm in it, and it stays at the top pretty good. What I was saying is like the zoom finesse worm or trick worm, see that? It like, it's not the same way. It's gonna sink a lot faster. It's just, it's not considered a floating worm though. But like I said, I work these a bunch of different ways. Um, which we'll talk about later in the day once we start to catch some fish. Um, I end up working a floating worm different than everybody else. Yes, I'm twitching it right now, but I'll show you guys in a little bit a way to catch so many fish. Oh my gosh, so many fish, and especially big fish. For some reason, this floating worm right here, a weightless bubblegum worm, will catch so many big fish. And I'll, I'll teach you guys a few little secrets later on in the episode, so don't skip through. Stay tuned for it. Hopefully, we'll catch some good fish. <gasps> Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's a decent one. Yes. <laughs> Yo, fish is almost two pounds if he was fatter. Look at that right there. Little one pounder. Golly, little one number. It looks a lot better. He was jumping out there. These worms held up pretty good too, let me tell you. Like a little more tough. They're not super, super soft. But look at that. That's a pretty little fish. Nothing big, but the first fish today, right off the bat too, man. That is awesome. Pretty bass. Thank you, bud. He ran up right behind that thing. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that was a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> I haven't done like any finesse fishing like this in such a long time, like on a spinning combo. So this is going to be like a fun day. Something different, man. I love showing you guys different stuff. But yeah, this worm, it's like still really soft, but it's still very durable at the same time. Um, which I like. It's like rough and soft. It's that fine middle. And that's how the six cent soft plastics are too. I don't like soft plastics that are super soft. Um, I like that middle ground. That's still a little tough and still soft at the same time. These fish are gonna end up munching this thing today. Look at old turtle boy. You see turtle? Look at him. He blends in with that like rock that he's sitting next to. What was that? Look at that. It's a pretty big boil. Is that a turtle or a bass? Huh. No way he saw me. There's a ripple on the water too. There's no way that fish saw me. They're eating so they're doing some weird stuff with this worm. It's like they're not wanting to commit. What if I switch the color? That, that would be awesome. Let's throw this for a little bit longer, then we're gonna switch the color. Watch them like start committing to like a yellow worm, but not the pink one. That would be so cool right there. Just to see that. The fish wants something different. It shows that the color does matter. <laughs> 
I've had like a lot of luck with the bubble gum, methylate, um, yellow worm. Yellow is an old classic. You don't see many people throwing that. If you meet a meet an older oh oh oh, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. See if he eats it. Yep. Yep. Yo, yes, yes. That was that was a good technique right there. So that fish boiled right behind me. Look at the markings on this bass. He's not big. He's really skinny, but look at the markings. Watch how beautiful this one is. Look at the colors on him. Look at that lateral line. That's a beautiful bass. We're going to switch up colors now. But that fish came up and he like boiled on the bait. And instead of keeping twitching it, I just killed it. So in his mind, in this fish's mind right now, when the fish came up and boiled on it and, and got like a little piece of the tail, and that fish and the, and the bait started to flutter down instead of taking off, he was like, you know what, this fish or this bait is injured, this worm is injured, and he was gonna go down and eat it. That is exactly what that bass did. Pretty little skinny guy, man. That is one of the skinniest bass I've caught in a very long time, but a pretty one. So that's something to think about. So if you have one miss that like that, just pause it, kill it, and usually he'll eat it. Don't even move it, just dead stick. All right, now it is time for the old school special right here. We're gonna throw on the yellow worm. And this one's more of like a chartreuse. If you get the zoom ones, they're more of a legit yellow. This is like more of just a straight chartreuse action. All right, there's a yellow worm. Let's look at this thing in the water, see how it works. You know, these fish haven't been committing. Maybe they'll commit to the yellow one. Oh, look at that. Looks good. I'm telling you, man, this is like an old school special. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's see if we can get one to boil on it and kill it again. That was actually kind of fun. All right, let's see if they actually commit to this yellow. Like I said, they might just tear up the yellow. They might not want the pink today. And you know, the pink, they were just kind of biting at. They weren't really eating it. And then the yellow, they might just kill it. Something to pay attention to. Look at that, like that. Oh, that's a decent one. That's the biggest one today. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. That's not the biggest one, is it? My first, oh, there's another one behind it. That was crazy. Yo, it, it, another video I wanna, I wanna film have you guys heard of the donkey rig, like a double fluke rig? I want to film that. If we had a double fluke right there, we would have had two bass on one bait technically. That is crazy right there. Pretty little fish. I think the first one was bigger actually. These have been all kind of little cookie cutters, nothing really big. How many fish have we caught? Have we caught three, four? Have we caught four fish already? That's kind of crazy. They're digging this thing. Like I have a lot of people comment like, most of the baits that I throw guys are for big fish. Recently I haven't, but any soft plastics, like you're gonna get a lot more bites especially like a weightless worm like this. So if you guys are just having trouble catching fish, like I'm telling you, just tie yourself on a soft plastic, tie yourself on a weightless worm and you'll kill it. You will kill it. Next cast. Dude, they're munching. Oh my gosh. This, the yellow guys, what did I say? They weren't, all right, he came off, it's okay. He's right there, look at him. I was about to say, what if he ate it again? I put it in front of his nose, that would've been crazy. So look, we were talking about the pink, they weren't committing. We put on the yellow, boom, boom, right away. Two back-to-back -back casts. Let's see if we can get another one. They're stacked right here. Another fish followed that one in too. There's a lot of fish right here. Dude, there's no way. They are loaded, guys. Oh my gosh, three fish in a, three fish in three casts. On the yellow worm, man. See, that's why colors of baits actually matter right there. I'm telling you, man. Some days they might want that pink better. Some days they might want that yellow better. Another pretty fish. That was a good learning point, man. I love doing this in my videos because then you learn so many things. Like, I, I learned so much from it, too. And especially from guys that just like to watch my videos to learn. Like, dude, this, like simple things like that. You know, simple things with knowing which color to use. That is just crazy. Today's more of a sunny day. At least the yellow might be a little better. I'm just throwing that out there. Bubble gum. Might be a little better in the cloudy conditions. No facts on that, don't quote me on that, but could be. I don't remember this drain being here. Like I said, I've only came here two or three times. It's been so long since I've been here. I can't believe there's not a fish in that drain. Oh, 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 that's actually a pretty good one. I think he saw me. Oh my God. Yo. That looked like a two pounder. He like came up and he just didn't eat it. I think he saw me. Ooh. 
that was him. That was about a three and a half pounder. I saw him right there. He broke me straight off. I blame it on Quavo. Quavo, what'd you do to me, bro? Oh, I didn't bring a hook. <sighs> I was talking about, I was like, man, we, we would probably have that good bite. You know, we had that four pounder the first time I came. The second time I came, had that three pounder. That one was about three, three and a half, right? There. I saw him. I didn't see him eat it. When I hooked him, I saw his body. That sucks, bro. Well, I guess we'll, we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. I got to tie another hook on. That sucks. Oh, dude. I pulled, I freaking stuck him too, I'm pretty sure. Dang it. Right when I was popping it, I just like popped it in his mouth and didn't hook set. Like saw the worm go away last second as I was popping my rod. Oh, that was embarrassing. Stuck another one. <laughs> I had a freaking ant on my leg and I went down to, to get it. Yo, you know what I did there? I wasn't popping it, I was dead stuck it. And that was one of the techniques I was gonna talk to you guys about with a weightless worm. Alrighty, well, that was the first pond. I have a major headache, guys. I'm like dying right now. For some reason, it's just like right there i am freaking hurting so we are going to go to another pond right now there's a lot in here um i, I think that was success i think that was a successful first start of the video right there go to that pond we caught a lot of fish we didn't catch any big ones um we have that big bass energy on today baby so hopefully we end up hooking it we lost a good fish man i hate that we we didn't lose them we ended up breaking them off that's the worst feeling in the world but we're gonna go ahead and go to this other spot and hopefully we'll catch a good one man hopefully we'll bring some good luck back to the video right there after losing that fish but man it's been a lot of fun fishing this thing so far i've enjoyed fishing it the fish seem to love it we haven't really paused it much you know the fast retrieve and that's surprising with how the fishing's been recently i was i'm surprised that they're chasing that so let's go ahead and hit up this other spot and see if the fish act the same as they did here in the first one all right guys we just made it to our second pond of choice today oh man some just swam off that that seemed pretty big it's like a little bed there or something so before we even get this started, let's go ahead and talk about how I've been working the bait. So with all the fish that we've caught so far, except for maybe one, this is what we've been doing, throwing the bait out there. We're keeping the worm at the top of the water and we're just popping it just like this, giving it pop, pop, pause, pop, pause, pop, pop. And I'm watching this worm the whole time in front of me. I'm keeping my eyes on it. The reason I'm keeping my eyes on it is because 99% of the time you can see the fish swirl on it. Therefore, you know, to hook set them so keeping this worm at the top of the water giving it pops so we're popping it fairly quick it's not like the fluke where i'm really slowing that thing down you know i've been aggressively popping this worm and these fish have been eating it now let, let's talk about a different way to work this thing so since we're at this place there's actually a lot of vegetation here and there's also some cover along the bank on um, like some lay downs and hangovers normally what i'll do with a floating worm or a finesse worm or just a weightless worm in general is i'll throw it up on that cover and i'll just let it sit and I won't do anything. That is the deadliest technique ever. Everybody thinks when you throw a floating worm or a weightless finesse worm, that you need to jerk the heck out of it like we've been doing. Everybody thinks, you know, hey, let's throw it out there. Oh, we got a floating worm on. And we're just gonna do this the whole time and kind of work it like a fluke. Guys, that, trust me, just trust me on this. There's certain times where you're gonna throw it like that and you're gonna catch more fish. And then there's gonna be times where those fish are a little bit slower or you're fishing a lot of cover and you really need to slow that bait down. Trust me on that, guys. If you guys have a bunch of trees and lay downs in the ponds by you or lakes or rivers, wherever you're fishing, it doesn't matter. I would throw this worm up there and I'm not even kidding, don't even move it. Take a sip of coffee. You know, I, I'm telling you, just throw it up there, take a sip of coffee, check your phone, do whatever. If you haven't felt a bite by now, really back in. Don't, don't even work it, okay? Then you throw it again and say there's another tree right here. All right, we're gonna throw it there. Boom, lands right next to the tree. It's gonna sit right there. I'm gonna pull out my phone, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm gonna check my line, make sure one's not running with it. Okay, we're good. Really back in. I'm telling you, that technique right there has caught me more bigger fish than, than a lot of different techniques. That right there will catch you so many fish, man. So many, and I'm not just talking small ones, I'm talking big ones. That's how I caught that almost nine pounder on the river, which is, that's a giant fish for out there. Let me tell you, like a giant, giant fish. Um, so yeah, go take that technique and apply it to your pond. And let me know in the comment section down below in some of the recent videos if, if this is something that has helped you out and 
helps you catch more fish. I love hearing those stories. So let's go ahead and get to work, guys. We're going to cover some water with this worm first. We're going to pop it, see if we see any activity, um, and then we're going to slow down if we have to. That's a perfect area to pause that worm. Oh, this looks so good for a frog. Well, we were at that pond for like an hour and nothing, man. Not even. Oh. Not, not nothing, guys. We saw this fish schooling. It seemed like it's gonna be really good, and man, I just hate it. But sadly, guys, my my head is seriously pounding. Like I'm I'm struggling now at this point, and I'm freaking just hot outside. And I'm sadly gonna have to close this video off. But I appreciate each and every single one of you guys' support. Thank you guys so much. Um, for everything that you do even as simple as hitting that like button like i i, I appreciate it so much man um I, I just can't thank you guys enough i'm very blessed and thankful to have each and every single one of you guys as supporters of kicking their bass tv i've been doing this a while and i greatly appreciate it but if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't already please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content and drop some video ideas down below but i'm going to close out on this one thank you guys so much for the support peace